Okay, good evening once again. Um, we'll be moving to section two, which is on LD diets. LD diets. Uh, you will remember that in session one, I mentioned the approaches to LD living, and one of the the approaches is LD diets. So in this session, we'll be looking at LD diet. What constitutes LD diet? So LD diet is the one that helps maintain or improve overall health. A healthy diet provides the body with essential nutrition, fluid, micronutrients, micronutrients, and adequate calories. Uh, I know we have people from the uh, uh, biological students now, maybe uh, people that are uh, from the science uh, uh, field, uh, bi uh, biology science field, uh, I, so to say. I know most of us, we call it balanced diet. We know what balanced diet, balanced diet is. So we are looking at healthy diet. is the one that has to maintain or improve overall health. So that the other time in session where we develop, where we define health as a complete state of social, physical, and mental well-being. For us to have a complete state of social, mental, and physical well-being, we must stay healthy diet. For our brain to grow, our audience to our age, to meet up with uh, uh, the age and sex, uh, in terms of the height, you we must be on healthy diet. Uh, I, I always say that at the particular age, you there is an amount of food that is required of you, in terms of meeting up with the energy expenditure, in terms of meeting up with the energy demand. At a, at a particular age, maybe as an adolescent, as a child, at, when you jump up up, up and down. There's a, 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 an energy requirement, food requirement for this point. At a, at a particular age, as a lady, when you start menstruating and you are passing out uh, blood every month in terms of iron and protein, there's a requirement for the protein and iron that should be in your food. As an adult, where most of the time you sit down in, the, in on the spot and uh, more like uh, the, the activity level has reduced, there's an energy requirement, there's a food requirement for that point. If you take more than your energy requirement, if you take more than your expenditure, then you tend to retain uh, you retain fat in, in the system. So a healthy diet provides the body with essential nutrition, fluid macronutrients, micronutrients, and adequate calories. So in terms of my macronutrients, we talk at it provides you with carbohydrates, uh, with protein, with fats and oil. Micronutrients, it, protect, uh, it also provides you with some vitamins, some minerals, and adequate calories in terms of energy for you to be able to meet, do, meet up with your, with your daily activity. According to World Health Organization, it should be a diet that helps to protect against malnutrition in all forms. Malnutrition and be over malnutrition, under malnutrition. If you don't have, if you don't take enough for you to have a, a, um, the required height for your age and sex, then you are under undermanaged, undermanaged in terms of malnutrition. But if you take as, as, as excessive, if you have excessive intake more than your expenditure, or you and also retain lots of fats in your in the system, and you will well, you have what we call over nutrition. Now more like having excessive fats, you are either obese or overweight for your age and sex. Uh, it also protects against non communicable diseases like heart disease, stroke, and diabetes. If you say non communicable diseases, there are diseases that, that, that are not be transmitted from one person to, the, to another. Most of them are diseases that are wired maybe due to, uh, due to uh, our, um, to some environmental factors that may us to be at risk. Environmental factors are genetic made up and also uh, some form of diet, uh, dietary, uh, dietary intake, that will make us be predisposed to some of these, some of these diseases like heart diseases, stroke, and diabetes. So heart diseases example is hypertensive heart disease that's resulting from hypertension, or uh, urinary heart disease resulting from a lot of fat along the uh, vessels that supply the heart and your heart muscles. Then we announce stroke, uh, stroke when 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 we have um a kind of affectation to some part of your brain, maybe due to uh, what we call occlusions of maybe vessels that supply those uh, 
those parts of the brain or we have uh maybe uh which one will i use now we say uh not like an able age of some of those vessels maybe uh due to uh some factors maybe like environmental factors or some form of dietary factors then we also have diabetes which is high blood sugar yeah? now the third thing says it balances intake to expenditure so uh another diet also balances intake to expenditure so there is a, a, a an accepted intake for uh, uh your level of uh activity so when your level of activity when your expenditure is is lower than what you take in terms of food then you retain uh you retain excess food in your body in form of fats but when your expenditure is high more than what you you take that means you 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 burn more of your body tissue body fats some protein will also be converted uh, because of that and also be under undernourished but the best is when your intake balances your expenditure so that uh you take what is required of you for normal living oh and so in terms of energy intake food should balance energy expenditure so i answer this is the amount of food you should take uh i've heard people uh say that so oh, yeah, as an adult if you are if you are really any weight you and reduce the amount of food you take and replace with a lot of vegetables and fruits to fill the space and you take a lot of fluid to fill your tummy so that you won't take large volumes of um let's say uh eba or 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 starchy food but the the main thing is your uh, your expenditure should, should balance your energy intake so for example if you are somebody that most of the time you sit down in a place more like for example if you are a manager you are a banker most of the time you sit down in a place you know that you are not really uh active you're not really doing lots of things then you should also reduce your intake so that that your intake and uh, balance your uh, your expenditure but if you are a laborer that you need to do a lot of you are involved in lots of activity such person should also and also increase intake in order to balance the, the expenditure but the the main thing there is that you also need to look at your activity level and your intake level these days that most of us are even working from home we also need to reduce our intake to balance our expenditure more of complex carbohydrates and roughages should be taken instead of taking the uh, refined uh sugar yeah? so in terms of complex carbohydrates and roughages you take and take old grains like maize millets oats wheat brown rice take more of legumes beans and uh you take less of tubers yam and, and potato you take less of refined sugar in form of juice juice only syrup sugar and bread then you take less of fat fat is not really good for for the body especially for adults you should reduce your fat intake fatty food like butter should be discouraged fatty meats uh if you have to take meats, you should take lean meats. People will tell you that lean meats, maybe white meats are, are preferable. Like chicken, if you remove the bat, or uh, uh, snail, those are white meats and they are preferable. And if you have to take fish, you should take fish that are uh, not fatty fish. Uh, example, fatty fish, example, is titus. I think hard fish is also there as fatty fish. So you should take less of fatty fish and you should reduce animal oil. You should take more of polyunsaturated fat like sunflower oil. You should take less of. Uh, you should also take less of saturated fats, uh, like ten percent. Reduce it to less less than ten percent the saturated fat. So you don't take fatty meat, palm oil, butter, coconut oil should be reduced, and you take less of trans fats that you can see in baked or fried foods. By day, you should at least take five portions of uh, fruits. Sorry, it should be fruits, not food. Stay at least five portions of fruits and vegetables per day. When I mean by five portions of fruits and vegetables, it's expected that for every meal, the, the breakfast, the lunch, and the dinner, you should take vegetable. And in between meal and snack, uh, you should take vegetable and fruit and snacks between meals. And you should eat variety of fruits and vegetables that are in season. Also, you should take less of salt. Uh, salt. Sources of salt include processed food, bread, and table salt. 
So you take less of salt, less than five grams per day. Okay, so this is showing a uh, food pyramid to let us see what is expected of us to take as uh, to, for us to live healthy. And if you see the pyramid, you see a broader base. And uh, as you go up, you see a narrow uh, apex. So for the broad base, those are the things that is expected of us to take lots. And if you go towards the apex, those are things that is expected of us to take in small quantity. So we are expected to take about six to eight servings of water per day like i said the other time like three liters of water per day uh in terms of uh, energy even food you should take series pasta and rice about six servings per day uh vegetables i've said that you should take about five servings of vegetable per day and two servings of fruits per day you should take you out about three servings of uh, you meat and cheese per day and two servings of milk poultry food fish beans eggs and nuts like i told you when you're taking meat we should take more of lean meat and white meat and in terms of fish we should also take more of uh, non-oily fish or non-fatty fish okay so those things that you take in minute quantity fats are there oil and there and sweets are there okay so this is the end of session two on LD diet i want to believe we all enjoyed this uh if you have questions, please, can you please uh, type and, uh, and put it on the platform now. Let's discuss briefly before we go to session three on physical activity. Thank you so much.